Hi, and welcome to this wrist friendly sequence. So during today's class, we'll be using a chair. If you haven't got a chair, you can use a couple of blocks or books. Old oh, books also work perfectly fine. I'll be using mostly a chair today and I'll show you how you can use it throughout the practice. We won't be putting any weight on our wrists, but we will be using our hands just to help us in a couple of poses. So we'll start in a standing position, so when you're ready, just making your way to a standing position with your feet about hip distance apart. And we'll start with a few breath to movements. So on the inhale, draw the shoulders up towards the ears. And on the exhale, just draw them down the back. We'll do that two more times. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Great. And then from here on the next inhale, reach the arms up. Really start to reach through the fingers. Creating lots of length through the spine, space through the vertebrae. And then with the left hand, we'll take the right wrist or forearm, inhale to lengthen. And on the exhale, just start to tilt over towards the left side, getting a bit of a stretch through the side of the body. And inhale to come back up to centre, change the grip of the wrist. And then on the next inhale, again, lengthen through the spine. On the exhale, draw us drop over to the opposite side. And then inhale, come back up to centre. Release the arms down, just shake it out a little bit. Okay, right, and then we'll make our way to the front of the mat. Again, taking about hip distance stance. And on the inhale, we'll reach the arms up, gaze can be up. And on the exhale, start to hinge forward at the hips, bringing the hands down towards your chair. Or you can bring them down towards a couple of blocks or bricks. Keeping a bend in the knees, you want the back to be nice and straight here. You might want to come onto forearms, maybe releasing the head down. You can start to straighten and bend one leg at a time. Just take in any little movements here to start, get, start to get some warmth in the body. And on the inhale, come on to fingertips or hands, just come up for a flat back position. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bending through the knees, start to push through the feet and roll your way up. Bring the arms up and overhead. And then exhale to release them down by your side. And the next inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale again to hinge forward at the hips, bring the hands down towards your chair. And this time, step back with the left foot. You want your feet, your left feet, foot to be out about 45 degrees. Start to straighten through that front leg, being careful not to lock that front knee. You can bring your hands to your hips. And just notice whether they're facing the front of the mat, mat. We want them to try and be nice and square here. And on the inhale, coming on to our fingertips. This is a nice stretch for the back of the leg for the hamstring. And on the exhale, you might like to just come down, release the head, maybe using bricks, just resting the fingers or the hands there or you can rest them on the leg. So just working where is good for you today. Maybe staying with a nice straight spine, nice straight line. And then inhale, push through the legs. You can bring the hands to the hips if you like to come up. And then exhale to come back down, hinging at the hips back to the chair. So take your left hand now, take the thumb and just start to move the hips so you're opening up the hips towards the left side, open up the chest and the shoulder and then on the inhale bring the left hand up for a triangle pose. You can keep your right hand resting on the chair, you can bring it down to some blocks if that feels better for you, just coming onto the fingertips. So again, no weight on the hands here, we're just using the hands for support and balance. 
Two more breaths here. And gaze can be up if you like, or it can be down. Whatever feels good for the neck. And then start to bend through that front leg, push through the legs and inhale to make your way up to standing position. You can readjust the feet if you like. Palms facing down and the gaze is forward, so warrior two. Check whether your knees stacked over the ankle. And if any point your shoulders get sore, you can bring them down towards the hips. Deep breaths here. So from here, we'll start to heel toe or pigeon toe the feet so they're facing the long edge of the mat. We want our toes behind our, or in front of our heels. Bring our hands towards our waist and then inhale, pull the navel in. And again, we'll start to just hinge forward at the hips, coming down until our back is nice and level with the floor. It's a nice straight line. Now here, you can either use your chair if you like, just using your hands to support yourself there, or you can use your blocks, or you can just keep your hands on your hips. Just whatever is good for you. And on the next inhale, and try and imagine that your spine is growing nice and long. And on the exhale, pull the navel in. See if you can fold forward a little bit more, maybe releasing the head and the neck out. And then start to bend through the knees, push into the legs and engage the core as you come back up to a standing position. And from here, pivot your front toes that's facing forward, come onto the ball with the back foot. So we're in a high lunge position, hips are pointing forward. And then push through or bring the weight into that front leg and just bring the back leg back. So we're back in our starting position. So we'll do the same on the opposite side now. So on the inhale, we're reaching the arms up. And on the exhale, start to hinge forward at the hips, bringing the arms down, the head down. Readjusting the feet if you need. And arriving in a forward fold position. Inhale for a flat back position. Exhale, fold. Again, start to bend the knees, release the arms, and just roll up. Bringing the arms up and overhead, gaze can be up. And then exhale, release the arms down by the side. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge forward at the hips. Bring the hands down towards the chair. And this time we'll step back with the right foot, toes up 45 degrees. Hips are facing forward, so you can use your hands to check that if you like. Front leg is straight with a slight bend, so we're not locking the knee out at all. So you can keep your hands on your hip if you like, or you can bring your hands down to the chair. You can keep a nice straight back here, staying here if you like. Or on the exhale, you can start to hinge forward at the hips, keeping the hips nice and level. So if you notice the hips start to move out slightly, you can come out of the pose, but we really wanna draw the left hip back, right hip forward as we come down, maybe using our blocks as support for the hands, maybe keeping our hands on the chair. And keep breathing here. Inhale, coming up, we'll push through the legs, come up to a standing position. And then exhale to come back down. Bring your left hand onto your chair, onto your block. Take your right hand and start to open up the hips towards the side. So moving into our triangle position now. And then maybe bring in the right arm up or you can keep it on the hip. And the gaze can be up towards the fingers or it can be down towards the floor. You can always come onto fists and that feels better for some people and their wrists. 
and then start to bend through that front knee, push through the arms or pull through the arms, make your way up to our warrior two position and that front knee over the ankles so you can always readjust the feet if you need to. Gaze can be forward if that feels okay for the neck. And nice deep breaths here. And then from here, we'll start to just move the feet around. So again, you're facing the long edge of the mat. I'm just going to turn back around this way so you don't have to look at my bum. And again, bring your hands towards your hips. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, start to forward fold. So we'll stay with our back nice and straight. And on the next exhale, hinging at the hips, if you can fold any more forward, maybe releasing the arms down to blocks or a chair, maybe keeping your hands on your hips. And then inhale, start to push through the feet, pull the navel in, make your way back up to your standing position. And we'll take the front foot so it's pointing forward, come to the ball of the back foot, bring the weight into the front leg and step that back leg forward, arriving back in our starting position. And we'll just take a moment to notice how the body feels. Whether one side felt different on the other side, that's quite common. And that brings us to the end of this practice. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found a few ways that you can use chairs and blocks to support your wrists in these poses. Thank you for joining me today. I 